What's up, everybody? Sorry for the uh, uh, kind of late start to the day. It's um, almost 11 o'clock at night. So day three is, or is it day four? Day four, yeah, day four is almost over already. But just sum up of the day is that I woke up later than I wanted to. Just stayed on campus all day studying for a chem exam. So, I mean, it wouldn't have been that interesting anyway. It was all chemistry, and I doubt anybody wants to listen to me working out equations in chemistry. I was going to do shoulders, but shoulders is a little bit longer than arms, just because it takes a, it takes a little longer to really blast them for me, I think. But uh, for arms, it only takes so long for me to get a pump. So we'll be doing that, because there's only about that much time before the, uh, the gym closes. So we're going to get in there get it done the first exercise that we're going to do is biceps and you're going to do chest supported spider curls with the dumbbells if you notice i'm squeezing my arms in against the bench so that way i'm trying to limit the amount of swinging that i do for the movement and i'm keeping my elbows locked in tight if you have to stop let your arms swing out a little bit but try not to drop the weight keep it in your hands try and keep the burn going through your biceps getting a good squeeze at the top Getting that pump. This is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite exercise, one of my favorite bicep exercises. You were going to superset that with a variation of kind of trice, tricep extensions with the dumbbells. For this exercise, you're trying to make your hands go up straight, straight up and down. And you're trying to let the dumbbells rest on your chest for just a split second. You're, the only thing that's moving out to the sides and back in are your elbows. So think of your hands going straight up and down in a straight line. This is something that I learned from a guy named Michael Hearn, and it really makes your triceps burn really good. If you're not understanding kind of what I'm saying, then just do some overhead tricep extensions with the dumbbells. You're supersetting both that and the biceps, five sets of 20 to 25. No cardio acceleration in between any of the sets. Just right back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you're done. Next superset, you are going to start with overhead tricep extensions on the cables. Again, you're doing five sets of 20 to 25 each set. Now, if you notice, I'm not locking my arms all the way out because if you do, you're probably going to fuck up your elbows in the future. And also, if you do, you take the pressure off your triceps. The biggest thing that I try to focus on in any muscle is time under tension. So I don't lock out my arms at all in this exercise. You're letting it come back over your head, getting a good stretch, and you're trying to make the muscle burn as much as possible. If you have to do some cheat reps, that's fine. Make sure you finish the set. Right away, we're supersetting with overhand bicep curls. Now, this is meant to work more on your forearms and what's called your brach brachialis. They give you that pop in your arms when you're looking at somebody from the front and make it look really big. But we're not a muscle building program, so this is just a variation to keep the pump in your biceps. Again, you notice, I'm not moving my elbows, I'm keeping them locked in tight, trying to focus as much as I can on the muscle. Again, five sets of 20. But this superset, you are going to be doing cardio acceleration. And for this, I did body weight squats for a minute. Nothing new, do a minute long, two breaths if you have to stop. The last superset is going to be starting off with regular easy bar cable curls. For this one, I'm squeezing it like I do with everything else trying to get a squeeze at the top of the rep so that way you're getting more more blood into the muscle more of a pump notice again my elbows are not moving around I'm keeping them locked in and tight the less momentum you have the more you're working your biceps if you have to stop like I just did go ahead take a quick breath get right back into it and do an extra rep while you're at it too because you had to stop the last exercise is going to be tricep push downs Again, my elbows are not moving a whole lot, and I'm not locking out my arms at the bottom. If you do, you take the tension off your triceps. You're trying to keep it on your triceps the entire time. Do not let it drop. Do not let it go out. Do not lose that concentration on the triceps. Make them burn. Again, five sets of 20 for this exercise. You have to do some cheat reps where you're not going all the way down. That's fine. But if you do that for a set, lower the weight so you can do them correctly. Squeeze at the bottom of the rep. Make the shit burn. You want results? You got to work for it. To end it off, 
cardio acceleration, we're going to be doing mountain climbers in between each set. After you finish up that fifth set, you are done. That is the end of day four. Just three movements for both biceps and triceps, but that should be enough to make them work, and you should have a huge pump at the end of this workout. So good work. Come back tomorrow. Ready to work even harder.